Here's a quick afternoon project. It's an old school balance ball game uh, using ball bearings. And the object of the game is to get uh, the ball bearings into the hole. Okay, now to start off with, I've got a piece of scrap stock here. Uh, it's just under 14 inches long, a little over three quarters thick, or uh, wide, a little over three quarter wide, and a little over one quarter thick. Uh, doesn't really matter about the dimensions too much. What I want to do now is I want to put a rabbit on here. It's about a hundred thousand deep and about uh, eighth of an inch wide. So it'll accommodate a piece of eighth inch plywood. So we'll start off doing the rabbit. Okay, now there's the, the first cut. Uh, I've got a thin curved blade on there, so I'll have to make a, two or three passes on it. What I want it to do is, so I can get this eighth inch piece of plywood in there. Okay, I run it through there three times, and uh, now, the uh, eighth inch plywood fits in there. So that part's done. Next thing I want to do is I want to make a dado close to the other edge. About a sixteenth of an inch down. Cut the uh, dado in there. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. Dado's on the left, the rabbit's on the right. Now, I've got a piece of plastic here from an old CD case. And that will just fit in that, uh, just fit in that dado. So now the next thing to do is to cut this into four pieces in the miter of the ends. I'll cut these into four uh, pieces, uh, three and a quarter inches long. I've got my miter uh, attachment here to my sled. I set up a stop over here. And then we'll cut the 45 degree angle on uh, one end of these pieces.
right, now I ran into a problem here when I cut the miter. Uh, I got some chip out right here. So, in order to try and save this, I think we'll just make this into a rabbit here. And maybe cut another little dado in a little bit deeper. Might be able to fix that. If not, then I'll have to start over. Problem solved. Here's what I did. I uh, cut this dado back on the top a little bit, made it a rabbit. So, and then I cut the dado in a little bit deeper. So now it's kind of a half, half rabbit, half dado in there because uh, the dimension doesn't matter. All I'm going to do is put that piece of plastic in there. So, looking at it from the top, you know, you'll be able to see a little bit of the wood there, but that isn't going to hurt anything. Okay, now here's a dry fit of what we've got so far. I've got the uh, plastic cut, and it's in there. Don't look too bad now. Uh... Next thing I'll do is glue this up and then we'll cut a piece of eighth inch plywood to go in the uh, rabbit here in the back. Uh, I've tested the uh, tight bond glue on this plastic and it doesn't uh, stick to it that good and it doesn't uh, affect it any. So if I get any on the edge or anything it'll just... Uh, peel off. I uh, cut a piece of plywood, uh, fit in the back here, and the next step is to find a picture, uh, preferably one that you've taken yourself. Uh, I've got this picture here of my dog when he was a baby that I took with my own camera and I'll glue that on to the uh, plywood with some white glue. One thing I forgot to mention is the distance between the uh, rabbit and the dado has to be a little greater than the size of ball bearings you're going to use. Now I've got about 425 thousandths here. I'm using uh, 3 8 ball bearings. I made up a little prototype. Uh, I just took a mayonnaise lid and cut a little piece of uh, of uh, eighth inch plywood there and I put some one eighth inch dimples in there with a drill and then I can drop in my uh, ball bearings and uh, we'll see if we can get them in the in the uh, in the holes. Okay, I've got one in there now. Oh, almost. Anyway, you get the drift of the game. The object is to get all the ball bearings into these uh, four little dimples here. Okay, now the next thing you want to do is uh, decide where you want to drill the holes. Uh, I set up an eighth inch drill and uh, 
I'd set it so that uh, I set the stop so that it won't go all the way through. Now you can use a geometric pattern or you can uh, just drill them randomly. I'll drill these randomly but not on the picture of the dog itself. want to make sure that uh, the edge of the paper is clean and if you can feel any any edge there you can take one of the uh, ball bearings here and kind of work it around the edge here and burnish it in because it has to be flat otherwise you'll never get them in there I've got three of them in there and uh, see if I can get the fourth one in there. There. Okay, now that's what the, the uh, game looks like when it's solved. I've just got these rubber bands here holding the back on now. So now that we know that it'll work, Then uh, I can go ahead and glue the back on and then you can finish the frame or whatever, paint it, stain it, whatever you want to do. Just another shot of the uh, game with a little stain added to the frame, you know, just to highlight the frame a little bit. I didn't stain the inside of it, I could have, but... This was kind of an afterthought anyway. Thank you. I hope you like it. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel.